Being seen and heard. Sherry Beaver, giving back to my community. My name's Sherry Beaver. This is my name sign. And I'm a proud deaf queer woman. I work here at Deakin University as a research assistant for the School of Health. Tell us about your study journey. I didn't finish Year 12. I left and then I did a bridging program at the University of South Queensland. And that helped me get into university. Well, my experience here at Deakin was fantastic. There was great support from the Disability Resource Centre. They gave me just a world-class access to education. What inspired you to go to university? Growing up deaf and an Auslan user, I looked up to the deaf community and there were so many deaf adults within our community that really gave me so much. And I think that's what impacted me, that I wanted to do something to give back to the deaf community. That led to me doing my masters so that I could have the skills to help develop the deaf community and really give back to my community for the next generation of deaf people. Tell us about the project that you're working on at Deakin. The project that I'm working on at the moment is I get to work with a really wonderful team which is being led by Amy O'Shea and she's a research fellow under Health Project and she's focusing on the LGBTIQA plus community of people with disabilities and how their experiences in society, whether that's uh, the social attitudes and how they make friends, just really uh, collecting data of a diverse range of experiences from people within that community. How do you navigate the world as a deaf person? As a deaf person, I do face lots of barriers here because it's a very hearing world. Everything does seem to base on your ability to hear. And when I meet people, I often have to let them know I'm deaf and their first response is a bit of hesitancy and I work very hard to communicate with people, whether it's by texting on my phone or written English with a pen and paper. If somebody knows Auslan, and it doesn't matter how much signs they know, but I might try to communicate with them that way. What do you do to take care of yourself? I do see a psychologist and I read a lot. I make sure that I spend time with my family and my friends. I really need to switch off. And whether that means I don't respond to any work-related emails or anything after hours. Yeah. I just need to make sure that I'm all right, that I'm eating well and sleeping well. What are your hopes for the future? Well, I've got a few things. For employment, I would really like to work full-time in academia, whether that's as a lecturer, and, and I'm meaning here in Australia, that would be a dream. And also I'd like to continue empowering the deaf community through many different avenues and through other opportunities because the deaf community here in Australia is become is catching up with the wider community and I'd really like to strengthen those relations and they would be two of my hopes for the future.